Alright guys, so this will be a review of the NZG CAT 312BL. Um, this model has been discontinued for quite some time now, but for some reason a lot of retailers and uh, private sellers, especially on eBay, uh, have this model and I don't know the reason for that, but whatever it is, it's good because a lot of people can get it. I bought this one at 3000 toys for 47 bucks, and it's a really great deal. Uh, if you haven't gotten one yet, definitely pick one up because for one, it's discontinued and like I said, although uh, it is fairly easy to get, um, I could doubt that that will be like that in another year or two. Anyway, this review is just going to be one straight review because there isn't really much to the model and uh, it's pretty much straightforward. Um, what I will do is I'll go over the functions and then the details and then I'll go over is it worth it, but it won't be separate parts, it'll be one long clip. Um, so the details, uh, functions actually I'll go over first because I, I feel that that's better to go first. Uh, the functions are very simple, it spins a 360, boom lowers to right there, and then the boom raises to right there. Stick folds out to right there which is really nice and it folds in right there which is perfect and then the bucket curl uh, it curls into right there which I really like that and then it curls out right there which is also really nice another really cool function on it is there's a blade on it for grading and uh, it raises to around right there which really isn't that high off the ground but I will be honest, and I don't know the exact height of how much I really do raise because I really don't see excavators with blades on them too often. And then it lowers to right there, which um, I feel like it should, you know, raise a little bit higher because I don't think that it has enough power to, you know, really push too far into the ground and start moving earth like that, like a dozer. But um, I think that's fair enough because it also looks cool if you were to, you know, display it like that. To go into the detail of it, um, everyone's used to having metal tracks on models, and this one obviously doesn't have metal tracks, they're rubber, but they're rubber linked, so they're actually not too bad. Um, one thing that was pointed out to me, and I never even noticed this, but they are double grouser uh, pads, and uh, although they are rubber, I actually don't mind them too much. I guess it's because... You know, they looked individually linked. Um, they roll pretty smooth. Uh, the only bad thing is, if you display like this for so long, there's going to be, you know, it's going to almost mold to the sprocket there. And then when you roll it, it may, you know, there may be like a bulge right there or whatever. But, you know, it's really fine. Uh, the undercarriage detail, you know, it has the steps and it has the rollers. They, or uh, I guess... Yeah, I guess those are the rolls. They really don't do much. They don't move or anything. They're just casted. Uh, the blade is flat die cast. There's really no um, guarding or anything to it, which, you know, is unfortunate because it does look very plain. But, uh, you know, it really doesn't matter to me. Going up to the model, uh, the cab has that blue NZG glass. And I have to say, it's really, a, you know, like a unique look to it. Whenever you see that glass, it always reminds you of an old cat model, so I'm glad that this one has it. Uh, inside of the cab, you can't really see too well, but you can see it has a seat, um, the sticks for the pedals, and the joysticks. Um, and going to the side of the model, it has the great red line cat logo, which is my favorite. That's why I like this model a lot, too. Um, coming to the back, of the counterweight, it's got the B series weight, uh, nothing crazy, it has a decal. Uh, decal is actually a sticker too, so it's not a water slide or whatever, but it doesn't really affect the model anyway. And then this side again, you can see it has all the creases. Uh, this side has a metal handrail, uh, looks like a plastic one because it's so large, but it is metal. And if we go to the top of the model, you can see it has the indentation where the anti slip texture would be. Uh, some representation of vents right there and the funny part about it is they're all like this too it has a serial number right there and I don't think that they changed them to each model but it is there inside where the cab 
uh, near the cab below the behind the boom mount has a swing uh, swing motor and uh, going on to the boom and stick and bucket um, unfortunately the model has absolutely no hydraulic lines so if you look on the back of the boom like over here uh, there's absolutely no hydraulic lines going off the back which is unfortunate but this model was made in the 90s so I guess you could say it was expected but they didn't do it so it, it really is unfortunate you could add your own though so I'm not gonna really bash it too much naturally since it doesn't have them cast on it doesn't have any leading to any of the hydraulic lines either um, one good thing about this model is the cylinders although they aren't painted they're hollow uh, tubing so when they're flanged they really they kind of match in their brass so it's not really a large issue that they're not painted and the cylinders on the model are also uh, stiff enough to hold it in any position the bucket's also really nice um, I'm actually a really big fan of the bucket and I say that because it's not too big and it's not too small and the teeth seem to be spaced out nicely there's very little wear plating on the bucket um, the really only wear plating on is on the sides here but besides that um, a really nice bucket and I, I like the size of it. the size of it goes very well with the model um, before I sum up the detail one thing I do want to point out is that the boom is hollow so they didn't go to any lengths to put um, anything to I guess you know fill up the bottom of the boom obviously that was done for a manufacturing issue there wouldn't be as much die cast to use um, I like it because it doesn't make the boom heavy or anything uh, so if you go to lift something it really won't do anything um, but it would have been nice if they would have covered it up because it kind of is an eyesore and uh, to sum it up um, my, my opinion on it is it's a really great model um, I also believe that you really can't compare it to today's models because it was made so long ago and uh, current day today we expect so much out of it and I'm surprised by how much they actually put in this uh, it's lacking you know the major things but uh, for the age that it's made really nice and uh, I hope you enjoyed the review